Hey guys, and welcome to, I'm so excited to say this, welcome to the first episode of, okay, okay, I'm gonna have a little think about the name. I was gonna call it James in the City, but what if James has kids and then we end up following up his kids? I was gonna call it Jalmo in the City, and I'm like, but what if James and Salma split up? Like, I don't want them to split up, but I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. So I think I'm just gonna call it the In the City series. So it's like Sims 4, In the City. I think that's probably a DLC pack in the past, but that's what it's gonna be called. So this is the In the City series. So let me start that again. Hey guys, welcome to Sims 4 In the City. So if you guys didn't watch my last episode, we now have two Sims series going on at the same time. We're still gonna have the Dreamhouse series, which still has Claire, Ali, Jesse, and the twins, Emma and Emily in it. Uh, but James is an adult now. So in the last episode, he packed his bags. He said goodbye to his sisters. Actually, he has three sisters. I've never thought about that before, but James was in a house with a lot of women in it. And now Ali is left in the house all by himself with a lot of women. So good luck, Ali. But James has become an adult. He moved out. Salma is an adult as well. She's still living with her mum. So you know what's going to be happening in this episode. But he's out in the city. He has had to buy the cheapest apartment going. It's just a little fixer-upper. It's all he can afford with the £20,000 that I'm going to say Ali and Claire gave him as a little bit of a well done present. Here's some money we saved for you. Go and make it on your own. So that is exactly what James is doing. So this is going to be our very first episode. Following James as he goes out on his own. He has to get a job. He's never had a job before. He's had a very privileged life. Get, his own, get a job. Fix up his apartment. Maybe ask Salma to move in. And basically just go out like old solo James. So if you guys are excited for this episode. If you're excited as I am. Make sure you give it a little cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what we want to see of James while he's in the city. And there will still be Sims Dreamhouse series. I'm going to probably upload them alternately. So this one will be in the city. The next one will be Sims 4 Dreamhouse. So guys, without further ado, I'm mega, mega excited. Let's go to the city and play as James and potentially as Salma as well. So guys, this is like our little screen now when we start a game. Like... It's obviously gonna be just little Jamesy kids all on his own. And his funds are a thousand. He's got a thousand in the whole world. I don't know why it's giving him his different hair there, but there we go. This is so weird. This is so weird, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it already. So let's play as just little Jamesy kids all on his own. I feel like I can't keep calling him like baby names. I have to like just call him James now. He's not Jamesy Bobs. He's not Jamesy kids. He's not little Jim Bob. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's, he's sleeping really fast. There we go. At least we still get the intro music, guys. So one thing that I think I'm going to do is I am going to... Where's it gone? Auto age unplayed sims. I'm going to turn this off because otherwise I could go back to the house and like the twins have grown up without us seeing it. Jesse is an adult. Claire and Ali are like old or dead. Like we don't want that to happen. So the other settings I've got, just if you guys were playing Sims and wondering, I leave the autonomy on full. I want them to just go and do their own thing. We have more or less like 50% control of their lives. We guide them a little bit, but I also want them to do their own thing because that's what makes it interesting, right? And then I set them to auto age, obviously not the little dream house fans, but I set their lifespan to long. So hopefully that should be absolutely fine. We've got those, they're all applied, and we can go to playing. So, this is what James's flat looks like. I mean, it's pretty basic. He's got two bedrooms, though. He seems to have picked this as his main bedroom. It is the bigger bedroom, so I can kind of understand why he's done that. So we've got two bedrooms. This is little James's room. He's actually... Check, check, check this out, guys. He's got a balcony. He's basically got Rachel and Monica's apartment in Friends, because he's got his own little balcony outside, and this is what he looks out onto, like a real life city with people walking around, cars going by, like this couldn't be a more different experience to the dream house. And I love that. Like, look at this. Can I like zoom right out and put like the roof on the house and stuff? There we go. This is his neighborhood. He lives pretty close to like what is probably like very much based on, oh my gosh, the name of it has just gone. I may need to call in Ali. What's this bridge called? in real life is oh, San Francisco, Golden San Francisco, Gold, well, Golden Gate Bridge is it? There we go, Ali to the rescue, it's the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. My brain just completely went dead there guys, I did not know what it was. We've got a little seagull here, like, 
It's just totally different. It's very, very different. So we are living in like the POV area. I can't remember what district this is, but I think it's like one of the more basic districts. So it's be good for schools. There's a lot of like families here, but we eventually want to move on to like, there's four different districts in the city. There's like the fashion quarter and the arts quarter. I think the fashion one is potentially the next one we move to. There's our apartment. Where it's like, where are we gone? And then the one after that is like the, um, the arts quarter. And then finally we move to like the high life where all the ballers live. That's the idea guys. That is what we want to get to. So here's James's little kitchen. Like the chairs don't even match. Guys, the chairs don't even all match each other. And here's his little, little, little bathroom as well. He's got like pipe work up the walls there. Can I do like the little split walls? I want to see the pipes. Okay, never mind. Fine, we don't see the pipes. He's got like a green toilet. And then he's got another bedroom here as well, just in case maybe um, any people from the dream house come and stay over. He's got a bed to put them up in, so Ali and Claire could come and visit him if they want to and stay over. Jess could look after the twins at home. And all in all, it's just, it's the kind of apartment you'd expect someone to live in if they'd move out from the first time. It needs a little bit of love. It needs a little bit of love and care. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. You said it was tiny. Look at it. It is actually quite big, isn't it? I think for a first apartment in a city, that's impressive. It's pretty good. There are some smaller ones in the art district, but the rent is higher there anyway. Uh, so this is like, this is almost like if you'd move to New York, this is like Brooklyn. Like, you're not in, like, Manhattan. You're in, like, the bit on the sides. So you get a little bit more room. I was just giving James a thumbs up on his first move. In. Yeah, he's done good. The kid done good. So, he's just sleeping at the moment. It's only 7 a.m. The first thing James actually has to do, you know, other than eat and go to the toilet, is he needs to get a job. Because right now, he has no way of paying his bills. I think, can we... F I can't remember what his bills are per month. I think they're either £350 a week or £500 per week. Not pounds. Simoleons. I can't help it. I can't help calling it that. So he's got some neighbors. I think some a guy lives here and another family lives here. So he's got two neighbors on his floor. I think there's only like one floor that's livable in this apartment. He's got his little lift that he'll take to work. Here is a little notice board uh, where all like, the neighbors can leave notes and stuff. He can leave an affirming note. I'm not quite sure whether that's like a complaint or like a nice note. We'll probably will try that out. And yeah, this is like such a different experience, guys. So let's get James to the point where he's well rested and he can start looking for a job. He has a computer, like fair play to him. He's got a computer and he already needs to do a little bit of cleaning up of the apartment. Like the lot trait for this is um, it's like fixer. I think it might even be called fixer upper. So he can like uh, apparently it, he will learn the handiness skill a little bit better here which is good if he's trying to like look after his own apartment there are some service departments where you get like a maid and stuff unfortunately he does not have a maid he does not have a maid guys like can i not pick these up off the floor i hate that there's mess how come i can't get rid of the mess maybe it's like a decor thing and i just can't get rid of it so he's cooking himself some grilled cheese i don't know how much Oh no, he's got three cooking skills. Like these are the skills that he built up while he was still living at home. So he's not a complete noob. He's actually quite funny. He's quite charismatic. His fitness is obviously good because James's traits are he's active, self-assured. He's actually frugal. So he has reduced bills, which is really good. He got that to help his parents out in Dreamhouse, but you know what? It's gonna help him out while he's living here as well. And he's just cooked himself his first ever meal away from home. I know I can't call him cute little Jamesykins anymore, but I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of our little James. Your apartment is dark, okay? Your apartment is pretty dark. So what does he want to do? <gasps> he wants to, I think he wants to invite little clerikins around. He wants to compliment somebody. He wants to buy a treadmill. Maybe he can convert, like he can add a little bit of a gym space to this second bedroom here. And this is his living room, because guys, I kind of, I kind of hate it. I kind of hate his living room. <gasps> what did he just do? Oh, he just sent a text. He just sent a text to Emma. <gasps> How freaking cute is that, guys? He's still thinking about his little sisters while he's not here. He just sent a text to Emma. He obviously, like, maybe we need to invite around sal uh, sal salsa. Invite around some salsa and some Doritos. No, he wants to invite around Salma. I hate this trash on the floor. Like, can I get rid of that? Because that's just, no, I don't want it. I don't want it, guys. I know it's meant to make it look all like real, but I don't want a trashy apartment, okay? <laughs> so he's gonna invite, oh, there's some more. How did you escape? I don't think so. So there we go. Is this like a bookcase in his room? Oh, it's his dresser, okay. So he's asked Salma to come around. Um, you probably should change into your 
date outfit, okay? Change outfit. Change into, change into like some comfy sort of around the, around the apartment sort of clothes. And then you're gonna have to find a job. Oh my gosh, how speedily? Oh my gosh, okay, you're gonna have to invite her in first. Oh, goodness. And then get a job, I think. Cause look, okay. she's here already. <gasps> she's always so sad. <gasps> he can give her an apartment key. Okay, maybe he can do that before they, uh, before they very first live together. He, she can at least have a key. Okay. Here are some potential jobs for James. So he could have a career, which is a little bit more involved. He has to go away and do stuff. So he could have a detective, a doctor, or a scientist. I kind of want to save scientists for Jess. A detective, I actually think would be pretty good for James. Like he's out living in the city. He gets, he only gets Monday and Tuesdays off though, guys. But he's active, he's smart, he's dedicated. He would make a really, really good detective. Or we could have some of these jobs down here. So we've got astronaut, athlete, business, criminal, critic, culinary, entertainer, painter, politician, secret agent. Oh my gosh. Social media, tech guru, or writer. Um, the thing is, if we make him a detective, it's very involved. We'd have to follow him around a little bit. He makes $38 an hour with that. Or we could make him a secret agent, but he only gets $21 per hour. <gasps> Guys, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments below. I think for now, we will make him a detective. We are gonna make him a detective. But when Salma moves in, we may wanna make, give him a job where we can be around the house a little bit more. Cause like athlete, he'd actually be a really good athlete as well. Okay, I'm gonna make a detective just for now. But guys, please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are as well. So there we go. He at least has a job. He starts on Wednesday at 9 a.m. But it's great because he has a whole day now being able to hang out with Salma Rooney. <gasps> hey, Salms. Hey, Salms. Okay. The f oh, she's sad. Cheer her up. Give her... Um oh, look. My pinned thing has gone. <gasps> oh, my gosh, guys. They've never woo-wooed. They have never, ever woo-wooed before because they were teenagers. They messed around, but they never woo-wooed. <gasps> look at this. He's given her an apartment key. That should surely make her feel pretty good. <gasps> Take it, like how freaking cute are these two? How beautiful is Salma as well? Like literally, <gasps> she's still really sad. Oh my gosh, how harsh would that be? No, okay. Guys, you know what? Why, are they not actually together yet? No, they are together, okay. He's never ever woo-wooed before. Oh my God, is she just literally going straight to bed? What the hell, Salma? What the hell? Oh, she's crying. Oh, <gasps> she's in bed crying. Guys, Salma is not happy. Okay, brighten her day. Give her a compliment. You need to make her feel good about herself. Oh my gosh, I don't know why Salma is so sad. I don't think she wants to live at home anymore, though. Okay, I know what's going to cheer her up, guys. They have never woo-wooed. And they have been, like, faithful for, to each other, and they've been in a relationship with each other for such a long time that I think it's about time that they spiced it up a little bit. How dark is this apartment, guys? I'm not enjoying the darkness of the apartment. But here we go, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! First ever woo. I can't see it. Okay, okay. They're really excited. This is the first ever, ever time. Either of them have woo-wooed. I remember these are our little PJs that I gave her. And the first time that they've woo-wooed together. I always feel so creepy watching this. So creepy, but it's nice. They're like, they are their each other's first. They're like each other's only ever like love. And they've only just become adults. Like if you notice that I've given James a little bit of stubble there as well. This is their first ever time. Ali was creeping around, peeping, seeing what I was doing there. If it's really good, they get fireworks. Like, it's up to them. It's what mood they're in, how much they're attracted to each other. Hey! They got the fireworks, yeah! He got the uh, pleasantly satisfied, and he's he's good. He's feeling pretty good after that. We always get the best satisfied ever. Yeah, we yeah. did really, really well. <laughs> Claire and Ali definitely always, always had very good woo-woos, guys. So those guys have had their first ever woo-woos. It went really well. They're really happy. You know what? Selma's sad. And I know I should give James a little bit of time to like live in the apartment as of his own before his girlfriend moves in. But fun story, guys. When Ali moved into our old flat, she, it's not too far from where we live now. It was Ali's first time ever living out. I moved in that afternoon. It wasn't planned, but I was like, 
it, it was a situation that we found ourselves in and i basically just moved in on like the same day and it probably wasn't fair to not ever give ali time to like live on his own a little bit but i don't think he would change it i think you're quite happy with that yeah <laughs> All right, okay. So I'm trying to work out now how I ask her to move in with me. Like, where is it? Oh, ask to move in! Guys, it wasn't an option before, but it is now. Okay, here we go. First ever time. Do you want to move in? Move in together. Click OK to go to split household split and merge and modify which sims will live in which household. <gasps> OK, we wasted no time at all. I think we've been in the house for like 10 minutes and Salma is moving in, baby. But the thing is, she needs to move in because we need two salaries to keep this house afloat. So this is actually uh, Salma's mum. Uh, ha 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 She's not moving in, I'm afraid. It is just Salma Rooney. She's bringing in no funds, I'm afraid. The funds are staying with Mummy Bear. But there we go. At some point, we're gonna have to let the two families meet each other. Let Salma's mom and Claire meet each other. There we go, guys. Salma is moving in. I'm so excited. This is like the first time that another Sim has moved into one of the Sim houses that we have. Because Claire and Al Ali obviously live together anyway. <gasps> Look at her! Look how freaking cute she is, guys. Okay, let's learn some more about... She wants... <laughs> Salma's dream in life is to be an angling ace. She wants to know everything about fishing. Okay. She wants to just go around town fishing. I mean, I feel like we may potentially be able to change her reward. Okay. I like that she likes nature. I think that's really cute. So we could change her to be a freelance botanist. Uh, the trait, the reward trait is that she never, <gasps> she can never set on fire and she can never die from a fire and she can put fires out really easily. Or she could become the curator, which is basically what Jess is doing, going around and collecting stuff from the wild. But this botanist could be quite cool. So she bec could become an expert gardener. Probably not ideal if you're living in the city, but I don't really want to change like her aspiration too much. So we'll try her on the nature one first. We'll maybe get some planters on the balcony that she can look after and we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be a very hard one to do in the city, but before we completely change it, before we change it to something else entirely, because obviously there's a lot of ones that she could do. Just for now, we will try with the nature one, guys. So let's actually see if we can put some little planters on the balcony for her. Because it's kind of perfect that we have this, right? Let's move this here. Move... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to change the walls. Move these little plants. Maybe move one to this corner. One, like, either side of the door when you come out like that. And then let's move this little cutie pie one here. Like, can we put it just, like, there? Okay. Um, and then... It's these little guys, is it? No, 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 no. Uh, plants... This! <gasps> Garden planter box? Yes! <gasps> oh my gosh, so she could actually have, and she's got, isn't there a miniature planter as well? <gasps> Guys, yes, okay. I love that we can actually fulfill this, even when we live in a balcony. Even when we live in a, no, we don't live in a balcony, guys. We can still fulfill this even when we live in an apartment. So there we go. I'm just gonna put a few little planters around. I don't like where that one's placed at all. Can we put this one here? There we go. So hopefully everyone can, I'll test to see if they can still like go on the chairs and stuff. Let's just see if she can sit there. And then let's make sure she can use all three of these. And then hopefully she can still, she can still fulfill her wish. So James actually wants to get some workout stuff for the apartment as well. I think it's great that this room is there for if people stay, but I would quite like to get some workout stuff for it, especially if he wants to be a cop guys. He needs to be physically fit if he wants to be a cop. So that should be in, is it the study one? Yes, and it is, where's the like workout stuff? Is it on here? Yes, it is. So you wanted a treadmill. Oh my gosh, guys. Is it wise? Is it wise for me to spend $900 on a treadmill? No, it's probably not. Okay, you know what I can do? I can get rid of this piano. Oh no, but James, no, no, no. James is actually quite good at playing the, actually he's good at playing the violin, which is different. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get his violin there so that he still kind of feels like he's got some of the stuff from his old, from his childhood, some of the stuff that he enjoys doing. And then we will, oh, Gabby Cat is now following me. Hey, Gabby Cat. Let's add the treadmill, okay? I know it's ridiculous 
spending that much money this early on. But still, we want to give him some stuff that's going to make him happy. Look at that. There we go. He wants to buy a talking toilet from not owning a city living luxury. Okay, I... Oh wow, look at him. He's out there in his PJs doing doing press-ups. Okay. And he also wants to work out at a gym venue for his like overall like he wants to become a bodybuilder. Which I think look, there she is, there she is. I think it's quite a good trait alongside being a police officer. Salma, honey, we need to get you a job as well. But in the meantime, why don't we get you on Oh look, should we do Okay, let's do a herb one. That one can go in there. So you can, oh no, 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 no. Okay, we need to put them in from our inventory. So she can plant, open these seed packets and let's get some of these little basils. Oh, maybe, maybe she can put a basil in each of these. Okay, do you need to plant them? Oh wait, there we go. Plant the parsley and plant the basil. And then we'll get some vegetables growing in here. Oh, I actually love this. I actually love that they have stuff growing on their balcony. When I used to live in London, in my first apartment, I didn't have a balcony, but in the second apartment, I did. And I used to grow stuff out on the balcony, like chilies and peppers. Tried to grow herbs, but herbs are actually quite hard to grow. So she's kind of being a little mini Claire in a way, guys. Okay, can we put, let's plant those mushrooms. Hopefully she can reach, oh no. Okay, she's not gonna be able to reach that, guys. We need to rethink this. Um, okay, let's have a rethink. Because I kind of like them having a little barbecue there. But let's just move the move barbecue inside for now. Let's move... I think they should still be able to get out. I'll tell you what, we'll have to do... BB... Oh, wait a minute. Testing, cheats, on. And then... BB, I think it is, move objects. Move objects, cheats, on. Boom. So now we should be able to move that right to the edge. Hopefully they can still use that. I'll do a little test in a moment. But then we'll have to have our like planters like this. Maybe like that. And then the herb ones. Oh no, no, no. The herb ones here. Which could actually work quite well because I should be able to get one more herby one now. Let's give that a go. Where's my little herbarinos? There we go. <gasps> yes, guys. Okay. So, first of all, let's test these chairs. Because I hate it when I move stuff and then they can't actually sit in everything. Okay, so, she can sit in that chair just fine. What about this one? Boom, that's fine. Okay, plant this little mushroom. What else have we got? Have we got any more veggies? A spinach? You can plant a spinach. Plant that. We might as well just plant everything we've got, right? Plant this instead of keeping buying stuff. There we go. <gasps> Spinach and mushrooms, guys. I don't know if you know, but I like, I love veg. Like, I absolutely love, love, love eating veg. The minute she can plant broccoli, I'm gonna be so happy. Like, literally so happy. So, let's see what skills and stuff Salma has as well. Oh, she's just got one at everything. She's quite good at video gaming. I think that's because they played video games together um, with James and Jesse when she came around to our house. But now she's gonna be building up her gardening skill as well. And that should make her really happy. She wants to call someone from from being happy. Okay, why don't we get her to chat with her mum? Because she's just moved out away from home. And I'll tell you what, James, what do you want to do? Why don't you cook everybody a beautiful meal, okay? Serve everybody. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> that sounds really yum. Oh, look. <laughs> Little Salma is out on the balcony. She just chat with her mum. Look how beautiful Salma is, guys. Look how beautiful she is. I kind of want her to have some eyeshadow on her day-to-day -day makeup. Have we got a mirror anywhere in this apartment? I don't actually know if we do. Uh, what, they can just never see themselves? No, that cannot be. Is there one above here? Oh, guys, there's no mirrors. Okay, okay. I can't see, I can't, I'm not, I'm not just being blind, am I? No, there's no mirrors. I'm gonna put a mirror in the bathroom. Because the idea of never being able to see yourself is actually like quite distressing. I hate that. Oh my god, this bathroom's so small that this is not gonna be easy to do. So, we could put this little hello one. It doesn't quite fit. There's this sort of one that James had in his room. A little heart one. None of them fit amazingly well, though. Fishes. <laughs> Maybe... Uh... Oh, man. That one looks quite cool, because it's got, like, the little the little sort of marble backing coming down. Maybe we just need to go with a bit of a... I uh, hate that. I hate that as well. Guys, I hate them all. <gasps> Guys, look. This one looks like a bathroom mirror. I'm gonna go for that, because it actually looks like it should be in the bathroom. Their bathroom is like white, 
There we go. How ugly is that toilet? As soon as we can, this is what we're going to replace our bathroom. But right now, we can't afford it. Which reminds me, Selma. Sorry to ruin your beautiful day of just like, look at her, doing some runs, working out, keeping that hot bod for little James. <gasps> James has cooked you some dinner though, so can you like eat together? James and, James has got a job now. Selma, however, does not have a job. So, we need to get her a job as well. I wonder if she can be like a freelance gardener? I don't think that's a thing. I don't think she can actually do that. Oh, look, she's achieved that. But I think it would be nice if like she likes gardening so much that she actually gets um, a career that- <gasps> James just blew her a kiss. How freaking cute is that? <gasps> she wants to hug James. She wants to get to know James. She wants to make out with James. How cute is that? <gasps> James wants to tell a joke. Look, you can do that. Joke about politicians, okay? You're in the city now. You've got to like talk about politicians and stuff. Let's put this in your ugly ass fridge. Ooh, ugly ass ninja. cooker. Oh. Ugly ass <laughs> microwave. Like ugly ass box <laughs> on the wall. Oh, look at little Salma cleaning up his plates Aww. for him. How cute is that? How cute are they? <gasps> okay, so James needs to interrogate a suspect oh. as part of his job. Oh. So I don't know if he just, oh, what is he doing? What's he doing? He's freaking out. He's freaking out about the stink. He needs to go and do that as part of his job. So maybe he does need to meet a neighbor. No one is available to chat. Oh, look, there's two apartments here, but nobody's home, guys. Why can't we just visit this apartment? I'm just gonna send James on his own. I have to have peach juice today, guys, because it's so hot still. It is literally so hot still. I think at 4 p.m. today, it's going to be like 32 degrees or something. <gasps> Look! What is the point of this? It's just empty. Like, what? What was the point of that? What was the point of that? James, just go home. Okay, I think I might send them both to the gym. So they've got like, oh, how cute. What are her traits? Has she got like the clean trait? <gasps> Neat, cheerful, and collector. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna find her a job, and then I think they're both gonna hit the local gym together. So, is there any gardening ones? Um, she can't be a gardener, guys. Oh, that sucks. But what I'm thinking is, being a chef would go alongside being a gardener really well, because she could grow all these amazing ingredients, and then she could cook them too. So I think that could be a really nice one to set her off on. I mean, she has to start as a dishwasher, but I think we're gonna get her to be a chef. They're gonna be working some pretty crazy hours. Look, she's working from 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's gonna be pretty tough for these guys. Like, nobody said it was gonna be easy, but still. <gasps> Look, James gets the next two days off. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go to the gym. So, both of them, where is she? <gasps> where is she? There we go, okay. Both of them are gonna go to the gym together. One, I feel like they're the kind of people that would just go to the gym together. But two, he can interrogate a subject. There we go. Kugos, this cool gym. That's actually the only gym. This is where they want to live. This is uptown. But the, apartment, the apartments there are really expensive. This Stargazer Lounge is actually the first date that James ever took Salma on. <gasps> Guys, so much beautiful history in between them both. Here they go. Oh my gosh, literally as we get here, people are like, um, It's gym! Yeah. Work out! Okay, Salma, you wanted to go work out, so you work out. James, you need to interrogate a subject. Oh my god, don't just give everybody your apartment key. Go chat to Wait! <gasps> Ali! It's Ali! Yay! Oh my gosh! He's here! <gasps> he looks so sad! I wonder if he's sad because James has moved out. Oh my gosh! This is amazing! Hug him! You could give your dad your apartment key, however, you do not give. Your parents, your apartment key, without talking to your significant other guys. You just don't do that. So he's not about to go and do that. Discuss his sad mood. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so happy about this. Look at this. His dad is here with him. Oh, and he's making him feel better. Oh. Become best friends with him. Fire him up. How do we interrogate a subject then? Do I have to like find a specific person to do it with? <gasps> James and Ali are best friends again. I think they were best friends as kids, but now they become become. Actually, I think I have to ask him if he wants to become best friends. 
But I think they can definitely be best friends now, guys. <laughs> Where has it gone? It was there a minute ago. Don't ask your dad to move in, James. Don't do that. That's ridiculous. Oh, how cute are these two? How actually cute are these two? You can tell that they're father and son as well, which I actually love so much. Oh, Ali's like, I need to work out now, son. Why don't you go find a subject to interrogate? <gasps> It's Claire! Claire's here too! <gasps> I love that! Okay, okay. I want, let's just see. If I can't interrogate this girl, he's gonna go say hey to his mom, okay? <gasps> okay, subjects could only be interrogated at the police station after being arrested at an APB. Okay, so there's no point. There's no point doing this, guys. <gasps> let's say hey to our mom instead. Oh, I love this. I love that all the Dreamhouse people are here. You can become best friends with her. Deep personal conversations. <laughs> this is actually amazing. And you know what? This is a really good opportunity for Salma to like meet the family as well. Although right now she's kind of a little bit stinky. She doesn't want to meet everyone when she's stinky. <gasps> How good is this gym? It has like individual shower cubicles, which is just like unheard of. <gasps> Bella Goff, look at her just going. <gasps> and James and Claire are best friends. <gasps> Guys, I actually love this. I actually love this so much. Okay, go to the toilet. And then you need to go you need to go say hey to everyone. <gasps> oh my gosh, she has come up in her towel to meet everybody. Not sure if that's quite the best approach. Why don't we just change change into your workout gear, okay? Oh what Claire Claire's put her towel on now. So it wouldn't have been quite as weird. Oh, I want Salma and Claire to be like best friends. Because that would be so sweet. And it would be so nice for James if they are. Oh, look at this! I think Claire was saying bye and she gave her like a little hug. Oh no, Claire just went over and hugged her. This is so nice, guys. This is good because when he invites, when the whole Dreamhouse family comes around to visit, then they're all all be nice friends already. Let's see how much they know each other so far. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Here we go. Okay. So they're acquaintances. She knows quite a lot about her. And it's just nice. It's just quite nice. Although it's 1 a.m. now. Oh, look at Paul. Poor James. Poor James. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, let me show you a stubble, guys. Look at this. Wait, wait. We move back a little bit. A little bit through his head. There we go. He's grown up. He's a man. And men have stubble. There you go. There you go. So he's looking a lot more grown up now. I'm going to get let him go to the toilet. And then I think they need to go home. Because it's quite late. I think you should probably get a shower at home, James. <gasps> Look, he's walking around with a towel on as well. How funny is that? I've literally never seen people wear towels, like, in the wild until the gym. And now they're all at it. Okay, guys, so, they've both got jobs to go to. So, oh my gosh, Salma, you, you need to, like, look after these a little bit, okay? What are all the plants? What are these? You don't want anything to happen to them. They're just normal at the moment. They're not, they're not happy plants, okay? What are all your little plantings? That's quite a lot to look after. I don't think I can ever get her any more flower boxes than that. But, James has the next two days off. He's having a little bath at the moment, which kind of sucks because it means he won't be bringing any money in. Although I don't know if they get them for days off. I don't think he will do. Uh, and we need to meet the bills at the end of the week. However, Salma will start her first day tomorrow as um, a chef. Assistant dishwasher at the moment, though. Like, literally, one of the most demanding and frightening careers I can think of for her. But she's going to smash it. She's going to do absolutely great. So I will send them on wee-woos. Give them a little woo-woo together before they go and do their first scary day out in the city. I don't know what, like, James is going to do. He's probably just going to hang at home. Maybe we'll invite all of the Dreamhouse round in the next episode when James is at home. We can invite them all around, show everyone the apartment, show all his, like, sisters everything and see what they make of it. <gasps> Why are you saying question marks? Why are you saying question marks? You guys are meant to be woo-wooing. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys! I left the barbecue. I left the barbecue in the bedroom. Not where you want a barbecue, really. Can I just put this plant like, can I put it like there? There we go. And I can put the barbecue like there. Like that. pa -ching! There we go, okay. So, let's try, <laughs> let's try that again, okay? Let's get them woo-woo-in before bed because they're a new couple. Woo-wooing's still new to them. 
and we'll leave them to it. So in the next episode, Salma will be going to her job and we'll invite around all of the Dreamhouse people to come and see James' apartment. But don't forget the next episode of Sims that you watch will be back in Dreamhouse. And some of you guys in the comments have said that actually, maybe Jess needs to settle down with somebody a little bit more straight and narrow, a little bit more kind of conservative to try and calm her down. So what I think I am going to do is I'm going to make a rock chick um, girl potential for her and I'm gonna make a little bit more of a straight and narrow guy sort of like when I say straight and narrow I mean he's gonna be not rock chick not punky not tattoos a little bit more kind of your regular average Joe maybe a little bit more career focused that kind of a guy and we're gonna see which one she gets along with best so I think that's what I'm gonna do if you guys like that idea please let me know in the comments below but for now we're gonna say bye to James's amazing apartment Bye to the city life for now, and we'll see James in the next episode of Sims 4 in the city. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>